top four seeds remain as the men's basketball semifinals tip off on Saturday. And the only lower seed to advance was number five Army, which knocked off number four Bucknell on Wednesday thanks to Kyle Wilson's late game heroics. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie Plowski and it's time to preview Saturday's semifinals. But first, let's take a quick look at how the four teams advanced, starting with the Army Black Knights who did it in dramatic fashion. Trailing by seven with less than three minutes left, sophomore Kyle Wilson took control, leading Army back to a tie at 70-70 with a three-pointer that banked off the rim, high into the air and then in. Oh, well, first of all, Tanner Omlin made the whole thing happen. I mean, he, had, he played unbelievable for us. Um, but then when they kicked it out to me, I thought it was going in and then it hit the rim and I was getting a little nervous that it wasn't going in and then like, it did go in. It was just like a big roller coaster of emotions, but I mean, luckily it bounced in. After Bucknell hit one of two free throws, the league's leading scorer had the ball in his hands again and his spinning fadeaway jumper gave Army the one point lead at 72-71 with 12.5 seconds left. Bucknell had one last chance, and following a scramble for a loose ball, Chris Haas chucked up a three-pointer from the corner as time expired, and it just missed. Wilson said those final moments were agonizing. I don't think I've ever been more nervous like playing basketball before. I mean, especially when Chris Haas shot, shot the ball from the corner. I turned around and looked up at the hoop, and I thought it was going in for a second. But I mean, thank God it didn't go in. <laughs> Wilson finished with 19 points, including nine scored over the final three minutes in the 72-71 win. In Boston, the top-seeded Terriers took care of business, routing Lafayette 91-54. Boston U shot a tournament record 66.1% from the floor, led by Maurice Watson Jr.'s 21 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. Second-seeded American held off Colgate using an early 18-0 run to take control in a 59-50 win. John Schoaf scored 16 points, and Tony Roblicki finished with a double-double. Third-seeded Holy Cross survived a late rally by Lehigh as Dave Dudzinski hit a spin-around fadeaway jumper to seal the 54-48 win. Dudzinski finished with 12 points, but none were bigger than the final two. I knew he was going to uh, try to jump me or uh, something like that, so I drove one way and I spun back the other way, and uh, yeah, he, he jumped on it. So. Um, it was just, it was just, uh, you know, a product of all the, all the work that we put in to this point. Both semifinal games will be telecast on CBS Sports Network, starting with a 3:30 tip-off between number five Army and number one Boston U at Aganis Arena. The Black Knights and Terriers squared off in a pair of thrilling contests thus far, with Boston U coming out on top in both games. On January 29th, Wilson hit a layup late to force overtime, but Boston U went on to win 86-81 behind DJ Irving's 22 points. On February 26th, it was John Papali hitting five threes, and the defense holding off Army in the final seconds as Josh Herbeck's shot left his hands after the buzzer sounded. Well, I mean, I think we're really excited. Um, we've had two really tough losses against them this season. Um, one in overtime at their place, and then on, on a last second shot here, so, I mean, I think we can definitely beat them, but we've, we've learned a lot from the two losses against them, and I think we'll be ready to play. Uh, we're definitely expecting another tough game, you know. We, we know we have to uh, come out there and play as hard as we can. We know Army likes to press the entire game, and they they, they play hard the entire the entire 40 minutes. So we know it's going to be a dog fight, and we know we're, we're going to have to, we're going to need everyone if we're going to win this game. For DJ Irving, who is second on the team in scoring with 12.3 points per game, the down-to-the-wire contests are the moments players dream to be a part of. That's intense, you know, but at the same time, it's also fun, you know. That's why we play basketball. That's why everybody started playing basketball for moments like that. When the pressure's on, like, how is everyone going to react, you know? I feel like uh, our team is, we have so many games like that this year that, that we're used to that, and that's why in a regular season we had uh, so many good outcomes from that. The second semifinal between American and Holy Cross will tip off at 5.30 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. American swept the regular season series and the Crusaders are looking to build off the confidence they gained in their quarterfinal win. Uh, our team is really you know, calm and confident going into this one. Uh, we, got, we got the first win under our belts. Um, you know, it's been my first win since I've been here at Holy Cross in the, in the Patriot League tournament. So yeah, I, I think, I think uh, we, we've got kind of a calm confidence going, going for us right now. And, you know, what, what we say all the time is, you know, it doesn't really matter what happened, you know, last two times we played them or who else we played, how they've been playing. Like, 
you know, we got to show up on Saturday. I mean, the first two times really at this point doesn't mean anything. Um, as you know, they're going to be coming in with a lot of energy. Um, but we just have to match the energy and make sure we stay to the things that we need to do. Um, not saying that we need to do the things that we did the first two times we played them because this game will be totally different. Um, you know, the officiating could be different. Um, the way they run the offense could be different. You know, so we just have to make sure, you know, we come prepared, be prepared to what's um, what we need to do. American won 69-54 on January 5th and 63-57 on February 1st to start 10-0 in Patriot League play. The Eagles went on a skid, losing 4 of 5, but they have since won 3 of 4, and Gardner credits the defense for the turnaround. I think our defense has um, improved um, over the last few games is since um, BU, um, since we last played BU, and um, also we emphasize rebounding. Um, rebounding has been one of our things where we haven't you know, showing that we can, you know, we, we shown that we can defend and then, you know, not all, giving up so many offensive rebounds, which is, you know, we preached all last week and last night we didn't give up so many, but we gave up a couple that we shouldn't have. But, you know, we still got a lot of things to work on. We still have a lot of things to work on on defensive end. And as we fix those mistakes, I think we'll be fine for Saturday. For Holy Cross, it will be all about limiting the mistakes that were made in the prior two contests. Yeah, I, I don't think we played very well well, we played we played a blast um, down here. Uh, we we didn't shoot very well, and um, you know it kind of got down to the, the end of the game, and you know we had some we had some turnovers, I think, and uh, it, it's it's some it's good because you know it's one of those things where I think it's just it's just gonna feed us even more. For more information on all of the games in both the men's and women's Patriot League tournaments, log on to PatriotLeague.com, and for full highlights and features, log on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plasky.